Well, we're back to <laughs> we're back to antique power land oh, and, and the steam up there, the Great Oregon steam up. Mm -hmm. uh, this week we're going to be messing around with their trolley museum. Oh, fun. Yeah, yeah, they have a trolley museum. We and they, find a trolley. Yeah, so we get to ride the trolley, and they also have a seven and a half inch gauge uh, live steam railroad, an outdoor railroad, decent steam, all those kinds. So we're going to be riding that to here at Antiques Power Land, so check that out. Look what we found in the parking lot by our motel. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Congratulations, Ducks. Yes, the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks. Actually, I think this is the local football team at the high school or something. I hope so. <laughs> but they found this locomotive and they stuck it here just to sort of use it as a billboard. It has nothing to do with Antiques Power Land. As you can see, it's an outside frame consolidation. Isn't this just like the one over in Black Hawk, Colorado? I think they're identical. Hmm. Except that one is, of course, painted Colorado and Central Number 71, and it looks ridiculous. Yeah. They said that one came from Central America. This one, they said, came from Argentina. But I guess these things are just around down that way. Now, one thing they have here at Antiques Powerland is their trolley museum. Oh. And they've got this, uh, this is a European trolley, and that's what they were running the day we were there. And they've built a, a station to use. This is the old original SP uh, depot there, and they built this one for the trolley ride. This says it's Lake Oswego trolley. And it, it's not, of course, it's a European trolley, and <laughs> we're nowhere near Lake Oswego. But uh, there is a really famous trolley line that runs from Portland up to Lake Oswego. And they've got that equipment here at this museum and they operate that trolley as a function of this museum down in Portland. Well, that's cool. So that's really neat. They, they also run speeders on this line. They've actually got quite a few trolleys here, uh, but oddly, most of them are from Europe. Oh, neat. Uh, yeah, it's neat. I'm not quite, quite sure why. But what uh, trolleys they do have from Portland are up here, and they're hoping to restore those and then operate them in Portland again. And that'd be really cool. The track kind of runs around the outside of Antique Powerland, but it doesn't have a complete loop. It's kind of a big U-shaped thing but it's still a couple of miles long. Over here we can see the shops where they're working on the trolleys that they're going to restore, either to run on this line or to run in Portland. And that'll just be really fun. Mm -hmm. We figured we'd go check out the trolley line in Portland. They only run it on Saturdays, and so, well, it wouldn't have been running. But we had no trouble at all finding the tracks for it. This is the closest it gets to Portland. It goes down to the spaghetti factory of all places. And then we explored the grade all the way up to Lake Oswego. So the tracks run clear out around the backside of Antique Powerland. And that's where a lot of the people who were there with their tractors and whatnot were actually camping out. Right. And the car show was back there, and this was unfortunately as close as we ever got to the car show because the whole place is just so darn huge. We needed another day. <laughs> God, we needed two more days. We even spotted that they're growing beer hops right over the fence. Yeah, I, I've seen pictures of that, but this was the first time I'd ever seen those huge, tall plants. Uh, beer hops, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of hoppy beers. I like a smoother, more barley beer myself. I, I digress. But anyway, this is where a lot of the hops come from, I guess. <laughs> So 
So at the far end of the track, there's some little shops and stuff set up, and uh, some of the steam tractors were down in this area too, so that was fun to see. I love riding a trolley. You know, me too. We've, we've ridden trolleys in a lot of different towns. The old ones are the funnest. But it's just relaxing. I know, I love the sound of the bell. It's fun. I grabbed a shot of this because I want to duplicate this at Garage Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> now another really fun thing at Antiques Powerland is their seven and a half inch gauge railroad live steam and diesel and stuff, and they give train rides to the public, of course. I think it would be so much fun to have one of these in the backyard. You know, uh, it's, it's more popular than it's ever been, and wouldn't it be fun? Uh, we'd have to join a club or something. Our backyard's just not big enough for this, but that's why these clubs have become so popular, is because not that many people have enough land to put in a thing like this. You know, most of Antiques Powerland is a kind of dry and dusty and hot place, and it felt so nice to get back here in the shade uh, amid the greenery. And, I found uh, it relaxing. Uh, it was just so nice. A great little respite in the middle of all this other stuff going on. You know, it looks like they have a lot of members. They had a lot of trains running around here, and there was a bunch of guys over in the steam bays steaming up, too. So they must have a lot of different members here. A lot of different kinds of equipment, too. Oh, look, they're putting in a new roundhouse for the steam engines. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Well, look, here's our chance. All the equipment over here is for sale. <laughs> oh, wow, look! I didn't ask any prices. I was sort of afraid to, but gee, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that they're trying to sell as well. And over here, look, they've got a small little garden railroad going around. That's pretty neat. Hmm, they seem to have two turntables overlapping each other right here. I, I guess the old stuff will all have to be torn out here pretty soon.
Well, uh, all good things must come to an end, and we're coming back to the train station, this time on a different track and coming in from the other direction, but we're back to where we started at. It was sure fun. What do you say we do it again? I think we should. <laughs> Please stay seated until the train comes to a complete stop. The station master indicates it is safe to All right, it is safe to leave. Well, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. It was a shame we couldn't find the trolley uh, in downtown Portland. Because right. they've got the, a branch railroad from the trolley museum there. Mm. And we did find the tracks. Right. Uh, and they weren't running that day, so the, the point was moot. We weren't going to ride it, but we never did find their station because no. they, they don't have a sign on it. No, we drove around. We took the scenic route. So you guys put up a sign. Because next time we come back, we want to ride your trolley. We never Big found sign. your station. Right. At any rate, it was still an <laughs> awful lot of fun. It was still fun, just yes. really Right. If, uh, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. Because it helps us uh, because we collect notifications and subscribers and stuff like that. And oh, it yeah. proves to Google that people are actually watching. Right. And it helps you because then you get the notification if you click on your little notification bell mm -hmm. and you'll get a text message or an email or whatever you want to be notified with saying, we just uploaded a movie. Right. And you don't want to miss that. Oh, so no. <laughs> click your notification bell. And all of this can be accomplished by clicking on the infamous blue button, which is just about to appear. You ready for it? Join big round blue button right there. But we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it more. And we will see you here again in a few days with a collector. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see you there. Bye. Bye-bye.